Hello everyone, this is Puka and welcome to round 5 of the Illinois State Championship between Yoshi Tate and Alyssa Dobbs, two players who are 4-0 undefeated up to this point and we should have a great matchup here. Uh, Yoshi on the right, of course we have featured him on stream several times and we all know he is a great player, a very innovative deck builder. He actually, uh, he's actually starting to loathe being on camera though because it seems like he's cursed a little. He manages to uh, end up losing almost every game we uh, re record him in, which is just kind of an unfortunate series of events, but we'll see if he can pull off a, a win here against Alyssa, who I actually don't know too much about. She is from the Chicago area. Uh, I'm not sure how long she's been playing or anything like that, but clearly she knows what she's doing. She is 4-0 here, and uh, we'll, we'll see what else she can do. She is mulliganed here twice with this Dark Ride deck. And it looks like she actually has a dark symbol on her right hand, if you take a look there. So she is embodying the full spirit of Darkrai here today. We'll see if that helps her out at all. Uh, now, Yoshi, I saw a Darkrai as well. But if I know Yoshi, there's going to be more than just Darkrai in there. Uh, this guy loves to play all sorts of techs. He likes to be uh, innovative. He, he likes to throw in some stuff that catches you off guard. So I am sure we're going to see something... A little off the wall in his deck. Uh, not just a straight Dark Rise Sableye deck for sure. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what he has in there. And we're about to get started here. Looks like they're looking for something to uh, flip or use a die. And see so goes first. So looks like that's a heads. Alyssa puts out her prizes. I'm thankful for that. Otherwise that could have been ugly. <clears throat> and it looks like Yoshi will be first. And here we go. So he starts with a Mewtwo and a Dark Eyes. So yeah, <clears throat> right off the bat you can see he is in fact playing Mewtwo. So not just Dark Eye. Uh, we'll see if he runs anything else with that. He's going for an N. It doesn't look like he really has anything, even though there were two Mulligan cards. Uh, with a Dark Eye deck, you would hope to, you know, get an Ultra Ball or a Computer Search, discard a couple Dark Energy in the discard pile early on for Dark Patch. Uh, or even Juniper to discard your hand, put a bunch of stuff in the discard pile so that you can generate a bunch of energy in play as soon as possible. Dark Patch is the key for Dark Ride to get accelerated. It does take three energy, which is not cheap by any means for today's standards. And um, the, the only reason it is so quick and so good is because of Dark Patch. And if you can't use it, well, you're going to have a bad time. But we'll see. He's probably going for a double colorless. He does... Seem to have drawn a computer search, so he can play that this turn, but no additional energy to get in the discard pile. So that's kind of painful. Uh, looks like he's going to discard a dark patch, and let's see what else he's going to get rid of, and a catcher. So getting rid of two very crucial items early on, but of course you can use Sableye to junk hunt and get those back at some point. So not the biggest deal in the world. We'll see what he grabs, though. Uh, he could grab a double colorless here and X-Ball for 40, putting some pressure on the Sableye. You know, if he had a Verbank and a Laser, that would just be the game winner. Uh, that can happen. Sableye can get knocked out turn one. I've seen it before. But it doesn't look like he has all that stuff. Uh, I believe he he does play Verbank and Laser. I'm not completely positive, but uh, I guess we'll find out as the game progresses. I would assume he does, though, every... Darkrai deck pretty much plays laser at this point. So, yep, he did grab a double colorless from his computer search. You get to discard two cards and grab any card. And here we see an X-Ball for 40, and we'll have to see how Alyssa responds. That is a lot of pressure coming out the gates there. All it takes is that Mewtwo double colorless, and you have to respond. There's nothing uh, more frightening than that. You just gotta kind of... You gotta respond immediately. You can't just sit there and let Mewtwo keep attacking you over and over but we do see an ultra ball discarding a dark and that random receiver probably going to go for a dark eye uh, i'm not sure if Alyssa plays mewtwo herself or any text or if this is just a straight dark eye sableye deck that seems to be a very popular deck nowadays dark eye sableye with lasers um and taking a look through her deck i don't really see any additional pokemon it's just that full art dark eye coming down as opposed to yoshi's promo dark eye so we'll see which one comes out on top in this war. 
And uh, she gets the crucial dark energy in the discard pile for Dark Patch. So if she has one, she could Dark Patch an energy onto Dark Rai. Uh, it's really crucial turn one to get that Dark Patch, get that energy on your bench, Dark Rai, to threaten a turn two Night Spear. That is one of the, the strongest openings a Dark Rai deck can have. And there we go, there's the Dark Patch. That is a huge start. <clears throat> and we also have a Juniper from her. So we'll see if she can do anything else. If uh, she draws a crazy enough hand, she could get a turn one Night Spear. But uh, those are not too likely, that's for sure. Uh, she does attach a Dark to the active Sableye. And um, I'm not sure if she got anything else she can really play here. Otherwise, she's just going to probably Junk Hunt for... Oh, she's going to Energy Search as well. Let's see. Grabs a Double Colorless. Grabs a Double Colorless. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tired, guys. That's a Dark Energy. That's not a Double Colorless. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that one. All right. She grabs an Energy. She might have an Ultra Ball and want to discard an extra one. Uh, if she does have another Dark Patch, that's a great play. Get two Energy on that Dark Cry immediately. Make sure you can Night Spear even if your Sableye gets knocked out. That's a big, big play. And let's see, she has an Ultra Ball. Uh, even just getting a Dark in the discard pile isn't a bad thing. Powering up more Dark Patches, stuff like that. Uh, and here we go. Let's see what else she grabs. Probably another Dark Eye, honestly. You don't want to bench another Sableye because it's another single prize Pokemon. You know, you've already given up one single prize on this Sableye. It's going to go down next turn to X-Ball for sure. Or at least like a laser or something. And so you really want just as many high hit point Pokemon as you can out there. Because otherwise a Sableye could just get catchered. And that's an easy prize. And then Yoshi only has to knock out two EXs to win the game. It's kind of basic prize math that everyone has figured out at this point. So she's just going to grab another Darkrai and puts that down. Uh, I don't mind benching that there just because your Sableye is probably going to get knocked out regardless. So there's no um, no threat of, you know, Yoshi catching up a Dark Rye and stalling for a turn. You don't really care about that. Then you don't lose your prize. Or you don't lose your Sableye. So uh, definitely a good idea to bench that Dark Rye there. And it looks like she's going to go for a Junk Hunt. Now this is nice that she's got the Dark in the discard pile and then the Dark on the Sableye. That will go into the discard pile when it gets knocked out. This can allow her to grab two Dark Patches. And that's exactly what she's going to do. Very smart play. And she just knows, all right, I have one Dark in the discard now. I'm going to have a second one after he knocks out my Sableye. So I can double Dark Patch to my new Dark Rye. Uh, but instead, it looks like she's favoring the Energy Search since she doesn't have an Energy in hand. That's another good play as well. If she has an Energy Switch, that assures her uh, an, an, a Night Spear next turn. So either way, good stuff. Uh, she's going to have plenty of options. That gives her an option in case Yoshi catches out her Dark Rye. So that's the more versatile play. I would expect Yoshi to just knock out your Sableye, so maybe two Dark Patches would be um, better to get more energy in play. But this definitely will allow her to Night Spear no matter what. But let's see what Yoshi does here. He's playing an Ultra Ball. He got rid of an N and a Catcher. Uh, interesting that he got rid of an N here, uh, knowing that Alyssa just took back a Dark Patch and an Energy Search. He, I don't know if he has another one in his hand or if he's just going to go for a Juniper. Uh, you definitely consider there just playing the N and shuffling that Dark Patch back into the deck. Make sure she has to redraw into it. Make things tougher on her. Uh, but I can't argue with, you know, drawing extra cards with Juniper, fishing out another Dark Rye. And, yep, that's exactly what he's going to do here. Going to draw fresh seven cards. I guess he wants to get as many cards as possible because he really doesn't have uh, his Dark Rye powered up. He doesn't have any stuff in his discard pile quite yet. He didn't get the... Uh, any Dark Patches off or anything like that. He will get an attachment here. The nice thing, though, is he does have Mewtwo, and there's a Bufalon as well. So that's uh, kind of a strong card in a mirror matchup like this. Bufalon can hit Darkrai for 120, and then you can laser as well with a Verbank out there, and that will make that do 150 damage, which sets that up nicely for, you know, a 30 from Night Spear later if your opponent retreats. So I like the Bufalon here. Definitely good if you're running the double colorless already uh, with Mewtwo. And Yoshi will get the first prize here. Uh, looks like Alyssa's going to promote the Darkrai with no energy on it, so she must have some good stuff in her hand. Uh, she's got a Dark Patch. Um, 
Nope, can't get back that Sableye. <laughs> that would be pretty good. Get back a Sableye and a Dark Energy. But no, uh, she's going to attach to the active one. She needs to do that to get that free retreat. And now she still needs another Dark Patch or um, an Energy Switch. She needs one or the other here in order to pull off a Night Spear this turn. Uh, and let's see, there's a random receiver. She's going to keep revealing cards. Let's see what she gets. Uh, gets an N. She might want to play that this turn. She has a Juniper as well. I guess she wanted to go for the end there because Yoshi took that first prize. She could have just played the Juniper and discarded the random receiver. It would have been in the discard pile regardless, but she was fishing for an end there, and she got it, and now she's going to disrupt Yoshi a little, and we'll see if she can indeed get a Night Spear off this turn. If she can, this will be a big move. You know, hit that Mewtwo for a lot of damage. Spread some damage around. That's a big deal on this uh, second turn of the game. If not, it's going to be kind of dangerous for her. There's a, this is a big turn. It's a real make-or-break turn in terms of the early game uh, of this match. And it looks like she was not able to draw any of those cards she needed, at least from what I can see. And, man, it's going to set her back quite a bit. And that's going to give Yoshi a nice advantage here. It's going to give him an opportunity to just get another X-Ball. Uh, granted, that will not do a whole lot of damage. Since X-Ball does 20 times the number of energy attached to both actives. Uh, honestly, when Dark Rally has one Dark on it, uh, it only does 40 damage. Because of its psychic resistance, so not the end of the world. But, hey, I mean, what are you going to take? A Night Spirit of the Face or 40 free damage? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you'll take the 40 free damage. Okay. Alright, so... It's now Yoshi's turn again. He also has other options. You know, if he gets another double callless, he could attack with that Bufalant with Goldbreaker. <clears throat> that's uh, that's where he put his energy the last turn, so that looks like what he's going for. Does he have a double callless, though? It looks like he's going to attach another Dark to his Mewtwo. Kind of put some more pressure on this active Darkrai. We have a laser as well, so he can flip here. And if it's heads, that Darkrai will go to sleep. And it does. That could end up being very big. Looks like he's just playing as many cards out as possible so he can play that bicycle to draw two cards. That's uh, draw until you have four in your hand. It's an item card, so it does not take up your supporter for the turn. Uh, it can be really nice in these Dark Ride decks to just kind of uh, draw through more cards. You know, see as much of your deck as possible. Gives you some really explosive turns sometimes. And now he's going to play a Skyla. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to grab with this one. There's a lot of options. You know, he could grab a Supporter if he doesn't have another one. Maybe grab another Juniper or something like that. Uh, another option is to grab a Verbank and put it out there to give that laser full effect. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now that laser from the Poison will do 10 plus 20 from Verbank. So 30 in between turns. And the X-Ball will do 60. That is a huge play, actually. Hitting for 90 damage. That's going to set that... Dark Eye up for an easy Night Spear knockout later. So nice play here by Yoshi. We'll see, does he have the cards to follow up though? And oh, another bicycle, go figure. Uh, so he's going to draw two more cards. This has been a pretty explosive turn for him. You know, he got the Skyla and draw four more cards with bicycles. So uh, great, great turn for him. And we'll see if this Dark Eye wakes up. And fortunately for Alyssa, it does. So she's not going to miss any turns of attacking, hopefully. Because she's uh, in a bit of trouble. You know, the pressure is on at this point. She has a Dark Rider with 90 on it. Uh, Yoshi's got a Mewtwo with 3 energy already. Ready to just X-Ball that next Dark Rider for a bunch of damage. He's got the Bufalant waiting in the wings. Uh, and, you know, he's got... Well, he's got 3 Dark Riders out there, but none of those have energy. So, that's good for Alyssa. But, uh, she really needs to power up. A couple Dark Rise here and start attacking, otherwise she's just going to get X-Balled out of the game. And we don't want to see that. So we'll see where she's attaching an energy here. Uh, obviously she's going to attach to the bench Dark Rye. Uh, just power that thing up. No reason to really stick with your active one since it's already poisoned. Uh, so she is going to retreat. Looks like she may have an energy switch, so she can do that. Uh, and then maybe attach to a different Dark Rye this turn. Uh, nope, looks like she's going to attach just to the active one, and we'll, she, we'll see if she does anything else here. She does have a Juniper, uh, she has a Catcher, 
could consider playing that, but you might you might be better off just hitting the active Mewtwo for 110 with that Dark Claw. Uh, and let's see, she also has an N, a Juniper, and a Bianca, so she, she's got an interesting decision on which supporter to play this turn. Bianca obviously is the weakest one here, but she's going to go with that. Uh, the advantage of Bianca that is that, sure, you're drawing less cards than the N or the Juniper, but... You ensure yourself a supporter for next turn, whereas with N, you would shuffle your hand in and draw six new cards. Uh, and Juniper, you would discard your cards. So Bianca gives you the benefit of, all right, I get to draw extra cards this turn, but uh, it's going to be less cards. But um, I know I'll have an N or a Juniper next turn, depending on which one I want. So that could be... Uh, it could be a big deal. She actually benches another Sableye here, which could be a liability as the game progresses. Uh, like I said earlier, Yoshi has taken a single prize on the first Sableye. So now all he has to do is knock out two Dark Rise and then one Sableye, as opposed to, you know, like three Dark Rise, which is infinitely harder than knocking out uh, a Sableye and two Dark Rise. But we'll, we'll see if that comes into play. We also see a Tornadus EX in Yoshi's hand. So like I said, he he does run uh, all sorts of stuff in his decks. He, he does not like to run just straight up like Dark Rise, Sableye. That's not his style. He needs to have options. And that Tornadus is a good example of that. We don't see that too often in Dark Rise decks at this point anymore. But uh, it's a good counter to Landorus. So I don't blame him for that. We're going to see an energy switch from the Mewtwo on to somewhere else. And he's trying to decide where he wants to put it. He puts it on that Bouffalant. Now, interesting that he decides to energy switch first instead of retreating. Uh, he might just X-Ball and wants to save the energy. That's why he would do that. So uh, I guess that is a good reason. And now we'll see what he does. He's going to Juniper for 7. It gets a double colorless, so... Um, he could attach that and do some more damage this turn, but I think he'd probably be better off powering up another attacker. X-Ball will do 80 here, and then he can follow up with the Gold Breaker for the knockout next turn. That seems like the better move, uh, other than, uh, I mean, besides, I don't know, he, he could attach the DC to the active Mewtwo, and then he would do 120 with X-Ball. And that could set up some good plays with Night Spear, you know, where you knock out that other Darkrai, on the bench, and then put the other one up to 150, and then a catcher. You could technically win the game in three attacks if you attach that DC and X-Ball. and Get that Dark Eye up to 120 this turn. Uh, it would be three Night Spears, but the problem is it would have to be Night Spear. And Yoshi currently has zero energy on his Dark Eyes. He has three Dark Eyes on board, but somehow he hasn't attached a single energy to any of them. He's just gone with Mewtwo and Buffalon so far. And, you know, you got to think at some point that uh, not attacking with Darkrai might catch up to him. You know, he, he does need to spread some damage around. That's the advantage of Darkrai. And Alyssa, that's the one advantage he is going for. She's been able to at least Night Spear and spread some damage around. Um, now, Yoshi is debating where to put this energy. He actually puts the DC on the Buffalot. Um I mean, this is nice. He may be committing... Too many energy to that Bouffalant, though. And now he's going to actually energy switch again onto a Dark Rye. Um, but uh, what I mean is... Uh, oh, he's actually going to retreat the Mewtwo this turn as well. Instead of just going for the X-Ball. He's actually going to Gold Breaker. Uh, that's an interesting play. Considering... Um, now that Bouffalant's going to get knocked out with a Dark Claw. And he's not really leaving himself with any attacking options next turn. So he might have something up his sleeve that I don't know about, but this seems like a risky move here when you could just X-Ball for 80. Sure, you're going to give up the Mewtwo, but at least you'll know for sure you can Gold Breaker the next turn and finish that thing off. Uh, I was thinking if he didn't attack with the Bouffalant, you're committing a few too many energy to that thing because it could be captured up and knocked out. But now it just seems like he's uh, kind of giving Alyssa that play, taking out all of his energy. So this could be a big swing of things now. If he isn't able to attack next turn, then this is the perfect play. Uh, if he can power up a Darkrai or something, or even X-Ball again, I guess. That would be kind of pointless, though, uh, if, if you retreated. But if he can pull off a Night Spear next turn, this is definitely the right move. 
Uh, I guess he, he didn't want to give up too bright. I don't see how he's going to get a Night Spear, though. He would need a Dark Patch and an Energy Switch, or a, uh, I don't even think he has two Dark in the discard pile, so a double Dark Patch wouldn't work. So it seems like he's kind of put himself in a tough spot. Maybe that was a little oversight, or maybe uh, I should give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he has some way to attack next turn. I guess we'll find out. Now, Alyssa, she's got a computer search here. We'll see what she does on this turn. Uh, she's going to get rid of a Catcher and a Sableye. And I wonder what she's going to search for. She could get any number of things, you know, search for any card. If she plays a Max Potion, this would probably be a good time to get that heal off that bench, Darkrai. And then just Night Speed the Active Bouffalant. And kind of take away an entire attack that Yoshi used on that Darkrai. Uh, I don't see a Max Potion, though, so she is going to grab another Darkrai. This is uh, another great thing. She actually decides to show it, which you don't have to do. Because it's computer search, you can grab anything. You don't have to reveal it to your opponent, but not a big deal. She will bench that down here, I think. Uh, probably attach to it. Play any dark patches if she has them. And uh, here we have that dilemma with the supporter again. Does she play the end or the Juniper? And she decides to play the end. This is the more conservative route, you know, not discarding your supporters. Uh, in that situation, I'm not sure what was better. We don't know what was in Yoshi's hand. I can't remember if he played a supporter or not the last turn, but uh, she's going to play the end here and just give herself some more supporters. Whereas Juniper, you have to play both the Juniper and discard the end, so you have a higher chance of fizzling out later on in the game. So it's hard to tell which one's better there. But she decided to go for the end. Yoshi will draw five, and she'll get six. She's also going to draw a prize this turn. So N will be weaker in the following turns. So I guess she just wanted uh, to use it now, get her six cards, I don't know. And uh, have that Juniper for later, no matter what. And we'll see, can she get an attachment off this turn? That'll be a big deal if she can. She needs to start powering up another Dark Ride, because the active one's probably going to go down. Uh, and now, with, um, I mean, with the Bouffalant getting knocked out, if Yoshi did have a plan to attack after it got knocked out, you got to think, you know, getting N to 5, that's going to be more difficult now to pull off an attack. He's going to need a, a lot of cards. He's going to need a Dark Patch, an Energy Switch, and an Energy. And, um, you know, he's already used two Energy Switches. So I don't know what his plan is here. He may just have to use Junk Hunt this turn, and that is not a good situation to be in at this point in the game. Since you've already given up that one prize on the Bouffalant. Now he actually promotes Mewtwo. So I wonder if he has a Max Potion or something like that. And oh he does. That is a huge play. Healing off 140 damage. And okay that could be just the absolute game changer. And a double Colas. Nice cards to draw off of that N. He's going to be able to X-Ball that Darkrai for a knockout. And he's also going to end first, so he's going to draw five cards and then get two from the prizes. That'll give him a nice seven-card hand. Lots of stuff to work with. And all of a sudden, the momentum shifts back towards Yoshi. And you got to think, he is the one who's probably in the lead at this point. Tough to tell, but uh, if I had to guess, I would say as long as he can keep powering up attackers from here on out, he's going to be the one on top of this game. I mean, just look at Alyssa's board. She has a Dark Ride with 90 on it, a Dark Ride with no energy. Her active, is about get, uh, her active is about to get knocked out. The Sableye is there, which gives Yoshi an easy catcher target at some point to end the game. So I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a tough, tough road ahead for Alyssa. And this Mewtwo and the Bouffalant have proven to be uh, absolutely devastating so far in this mirror match. And we actually haven't seen Yoshi attack once with Darkrai yet. So it's more of Darkrai's friends doing all the work at this point. So Alyssa, to attack this turn, she's going to need like a Dark Patch and an Energy. The problem for her is that if she does that, if she, you know, Dark Patches to the Darkrai with one Energy and then uh, attaches and attacks with that one, it's just one Energy away from being X-Balled for the Knockout. So she actually would need to power up the Dark Ride with no energy on it. She actually did miss an energy drop the previous turn, I believe. So that was a pretty big deal. 
It's going to be tougher for her to pull off an attack now, but she can if she has, you know, a dark patch, an energy switch, and an energy. Or possibly two energy switches or two dark patches, you know, any combination of that kind of stuff. Uh, and an attachment. So it's feasible for her to get an, atta or an attack off this turn. But will she pull it off? Here is a random receiver. She's going to reveal cards until she gets a supporter. It's a uh, Professor Juniper, so that is great for her. It's going to get her seven new cards. And maybe she'll be able to pull off a Night Spear now. Just maybe. And if she can, she won't be in really bad shape. You know, she is down two prizes and no real way to pull off um, a knockout in this next turn. So she's kind of... I don't know. She she's behind at this point. There's no doubt about that. Especially with that fully or with that 90 damage dark ray on the bench, that is a pain for sure. She does get a dark claw onto a dark ray. That's big for additional damage. Hitting that Mewtwo now will be much simpler. She's got an energy switch as well, and that's going to move an energy over to her dark ray. And here's the Juniper. So she's going to draw seven here, and I'm not sure what she's going to get. But she does need a Dark Patch or an Energy Switch to attack this turn. And if she doesn't, she's not going to be able to do it. But that last card is an Energy Switch. So for sure, she will be able to attack this turn. And that is good news for Alyssa. Uh, bad news for Yoshi. And we'll see what she can do. If she has a Hypnotoxic Laser, this could be a huge turn for her with that Dark Claw. The Laser would do 30 passive damage. And then the Dark Claw would do 100, or the Night Spear with a Dark Claw does 110 damage, which does 140 to Mewtwo, which would leave it with 30 left. So if that Poison were to stay on there, then Mewtwo would just get knocked out by Poison, and that would be devastating. And here's the Energy Switch, so we will see a Night Spear this turn. She was able to pull that off. Uh, but yeah, if she has a Laser here, that is huge. I don't think she has one, though. It doesn't look like it. She would definitely play it here if she did. But, yeah, that would be all sorts of devastating for Yoshi. That is for sure. Uh, we'll see what she's doing. She's actually going to play a catcher here and go for the Sableye. Now, I'm not sure why she's doing this. I suppose this is to take that one prize here and go down to four prizes. That's not a bad move at all. Uh, she will get the knockout there. So... Um, she's going to get her prize, and she's also going to put 30 on the Mewtwo, so uh, I actually do like that play now that I think about it. Take out the Sableye, go down to four prizes, now all you need to do is knock out two EXs to win, you put 30 on the Mewtwo, and that way you can just play a laser, and then with the Dark Claw, you can knock out the Mewtwo, and then you're down to two prizes, and you put yourself in a good position to win at that point. So I definitely don't mind that play at all. I actually think I like it a lot. And uh, great play there from Alyssa. She understands. All right, I need to take out two EXs now to win the game. Uh, I, I can take that prize now, set the Mewtwo up for a knockout. Why not just do that now while I have the catcher? And then I don't have the laser this turn, so maybe I'll draw it next turn. I give myself a chance to do that. Now how's Yoshi going to respond to this? He actually promotes the Mewtwo uh, and... I guess he's going to X-Ball. That's really his only option here this turn. He could power up that Darkrai if he has a Dark Patch at this point. I actually haven't really seen him play a Dark Patch yet, I don't think. It's kind of painful. He's just been going with straight-on Dark and Double Colorless so far. And Energy Switches. He does attach to the Bench Darkrai. That's a threatening a Night Spear for next turn. That's pretty big. But uh, what else is he going to do here? He does have a Laser. That's a huge card here. Uh, he's going to get Tails, but it will poison that Darkrai. And that's going to make Mewtwo do, let's see, a hun uh, 80 plus 30. So it'll end up with a 110 on that Darkrai. Uh, that's going to make it so Night Spear can knock it out next turn, even if you know he somehow loses that Dark Claw. Uh, he's going to bench a Keldeo here. I guess that's to protect from any laser shenanigans. You know, if, his, uh, if one of his Darkrai stays asleep from laser at some point. I guess it doesn't hurt to put that down. It does open up an interesting scenario for Alyssa, though. Now she's got almost a, not a clear path, but an easier way to take four prizes at this point. Since Keldeo and Mewtwo both have 170 hit points, they are easy knockouts for stuff like Laser, Dark Claw, 
which do 140 and then 32 bench Pokemon. So, I mean, just imagine, like, if this turn Alyssa is able to laser the active Mewtwo, Night Spear, knock it out, and then they do 30 to Keldeo, and then the following turn, catch up the Keldeo, get another laser with Dark Claw, and knock it out again. She just wins the game in two turns. So she, uh, benching that Keldeo does give her that option. Sure, it's a lot of stuff to have, but, um, I don't know. Was it worth benching the Keldeo in order to kind of ward off laser at this point? And I guess we'll find out. Now there's a Tool Scrapper, so that's a huge card, actually. It, it gets rid of that Dark Claw, takes away the plus 20 on Night Spear, which is going to take away that big play I had described with um, setting up the, the two Night Spears. And now it's going to be a lot tougher for Alyssa to win this one. I mean, Yoshi, he's got that Mewtwo x ball in away. He's got a Darkrai waiting in the wings. Uh, Alyssa is poisoned. There's 110 on her Darkrai. Things just do not look good for her right now, that's for sure. And what is going to be her plan of action? She does have a Caldeo. Uh, I guess she's going to attach and rush in. Get rid of that poison. Retreat for free with Dark Cloak. It's really taking advantage of two abilities. It's a cute combo that players have discovered. You rush in with Keldeo, put it active, attach a Dark, retreat for free with Dark Cloak, and basically you get rid of any status conditions, just abusing both of your abilities with Dark Cloak and rush in. She does have another Dark Claw. That's a pretty big card to have here. That's the third one she's played in this game, I think. And she's going to play a Juniper. So you got to wonder, what is she going for here? Definitely a laser, but uh, does she get it? And uh, if she does, she's still got a chance here to pull off a crazy play. But, you know, you got to expect this active dark card to get knocked out. So getting those four prizes in two turns off of that Keldeo and the Mewtwo, probably not going to happen. She actually does catch her up. Oh, she's going for the Keldeo. So she might be getting a little desperate here. Uh, she's actually going to laser... And that's a heads. That could be a huge turn of events. You know, Keldeo, it's great to get yourself out of the laser. But you can only rush in from the bench. So if it's asleep, it's actually going to be stuck there. Dark Rider decks normally skimp on switching cards just because they can use Keldeo to get out of status. And we could see this game honestly come down to a flip. As crazy as that is, we're going to see an energy switch onto that other Dark Rider. And she's going to have two Dark Eyes powered up here. All of a sudden, you know, this is just the power of Dark Claw, Night Spear, and Laser with Verbank. All in combination, you can do 140 in a turn. And if you can keep your opponent asleep, that is devastating. So here we go. This is going to be the flip of the game. If has, you got to think Yoshi is going to be okay. But if it's Tails, oh, this is devastating. And it's a Tails. Oh, no. This is the power of lasers, folks. I mean... Oh, if you're a Yoshi, that's got to be a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach. Like, uh, what did I do to deserve this? You know, that stupid laser. Uh, just the, why, why does it include sleep on the card? Why doesn't it just poison me? But nope. <clears throat> the reality is that it does put you to sleep on a flip. <laughs> and a lot of games happen to be decided by this nowadays. That's exactly what's happening right here. Uh, unless Yoshi does play like a Switch, or, you know, if he does play another Max Potion, that could be a big thing. Maybe uh, there's there's plenty of cards to get you out of status, just people don't really play too many of them in Dark Ride decks. And, well, he's going to play a Skyla, so if he does have one, he's going to be able to grab it. So we'll see. He's not taking anything quickly. Uh, I mean, if he had, I don't know. If he had a, a switch, he would definitely just take it and then Night Spear this turn and probably end up winning the game. But if, I don't know, if he doesn't have it, I, I think it's just a catcher away and Alyssa, uh, Alyssa wins. That's all there is to it. Uh, I also believe time was called at this point. Um, Yoshi, you know, he's got to be weary of that, I believe. If I remember correctly... Time was actually called on Yoshi's turn the last time. So he's going to be turn number two here. He's going to grab a dark patch. So um, he's got to try 
to find a way to be ahead on prizes. I mean, uh, I don't know. Actually, he is turn number one, I believe, out of time, now that I think about it. Uh, so he's turn one. Alyssa will be turn two. And Yoshi is turn number three, so he'll get the last turn here. This actually does work out in his favor. And we're going to see a laser, and he's going to try to do the same thing that, he, that Alyssa did to him. And it looks like he got a Tails. Um... Not sure what that confusion was all about, but um, yeah, it looks like he got a tails on that laser. He was hoping to put that dark ride to sleep. Uh, I guess Alyssa still could have rushed in if she had an energy retreated, but uh, might as well get the poison damage on the dark ride as well. No reason really not to if you're going to play a supporter or anything. And uh, Keldeo gets knocked out by poison. Alyssa gets two prizes. And Yoshi, he realizes the time situation. He realizes that, all right, if I promote this Darkrai and it takes a hit, I can catch her, or actually I can just Night Spear, and I will win on time. <clears throat> I will take my uh, my fourth and fifth prizes. I'll go down to one. <clears throat> Excuse me. My, <clears throat> my throat is killing me. All right. Uh, I'll go down to one prize. Alyssa will have two after she takes the knockout. But no, there is the Pokemon catcher. And that's it. Alyssa Dobbs will take this win over Yoshi, and his curse of being on camera will continue. Man, what a rough way to end that game for Yoshi. You got to feel for him. Uh, just that, that sleep flip on the laser, that's all it came down to. If one flip went wrong either way, Yoshi definitely would have been out on top in that one. But that is the nature of Pokemon. There is luck involved, and that is just what you got to deal with. So... Thanks, guys, for watching. That was round five. Alyssa will be 5-0 and at this point. Yoshi is 4-1. and And we'll be back with more rounds here from the Illinois State Championship coming up. Stay tuned.